Living in Australia provides English for settlement in Australia. There are three levels from beginner to intermediate. The exit level is IELTS 4.5 to 5. Each course level includes 120 hours of interactive content, 10 units with over 300 screens. There's a student workbook, mobile app lessons, and sample teacher guides. Welcome to Living in Australia, an interactive online course for learners of English at beginner, pre-intermediate, and intermediate levels, which helps learners develop the language and cultural skills needed to settle in Australia and participate fully in social, community and workplace activities. Living in Australia covers important everyday topics from shopping, sports, hobbies and travel to work, weather and the media, as well as communication skills from introductions, greetings, questions and answers to more complex exchanges. The course develops all areas, listening, reading, speaking, writing, as well as dealing with the pronunciation and language structures needed to understand basic conversations and instructions, ask questions, talk about familiar topics and take phone messages. Living in Australia is based around a series of video, audio and written texts, such as in this unit, dealing with presentations and giving talks. Interest is built through introductory activities and vocabulary is presented before learners develop receptive skills with tasks related to the text. Part of my job involves looking after these guys, the koalas. Every day, have to clean up after them. This allows learners to explore areas of cultural and everyday interest, dealing with Australian society, history and free time. A contextual framework for communicative skills development is provided, so at the same time as gaining important information about life in Australia, the learners' language skills are developing steadily. Follow-up stages in Living in Australia units focus on the construction of common oral and written texts. I'm uh, doing my second year of a Bachelor of Science in IT there. The oral texts are based around familiar conversation patterns like talking about yourself in social settings, dealing with transactional encounters for Australian shops and services, and workplace conversations such as giving and receiving instructions. Written texts include the types of written texts needed in daily life. These include everything from filling in forms and applications to different kinds of letter writing, notes, messages and emails, as well as employment related writing like job applications. A key part of developing oral communication skills for functioning effectively in day-to-day -day life in Australia is the area of pronunciation. Tomorrow. Afternoon. The importance of pronunciation in lifting both comprehension and comprehensibility is reflected in the wide sweep of coverage for this area in living in Australia. Both discrete elements such as syllables and word stress patterns and connected speech areas such as intonation and sentence stress are dealt with. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? Learners are both provided with resources for systematic sequential study of pronunciation and with options for selecting particular areas that they wish to work on in isolation. What a pity. Oh dear. They hear a wide range of voices, accents and speech types of the kinds they are likely to come across in day-to-day -day Australian life. Reference sections and notes provide an easy access support here as well. Language skills are drawn together through a range of fluency focused tasks. These scaffold learners through planning time and practice of specific techniques and parts of the interaction and then build into longer stretches of conversation. Sample answers are also provided. Models and examples deal with the types of communication challenges faced by new arrivals in Australia who are also engaged in developing their language skills. 
In tasks such as this dialogue build, learners are able to walk through the natural stages of a conversation, deciding what they would say, comparing this with an example, and seeing how their turn fits alongside the responses of the other person in the conversation. Other fluency activities use audio for listen and respond style tasks. There are also read-along dialogues based on conversations learners have already Hi, worked guys. with. How are you? Really good. Welcome back. These activities are often based around everyday informal conversations. This approach helps to review unit content, build confidence, and puts emphasis on the value of planning speaking turns to maximize accuracy and open the way to greater fluency for real life conversation. Mostly around Hanoi, and we went to a place called Ha Long Bay, which was really gorgeous. So, was it easy to get around? 